Ben, just summarise for me how tough a day this has been for you and your team. Well, we had two losses, but we're not happy about that. Uh, on the back of yesterday, we really wanted to come out and get, get some wins on the board. We weren't able to do that. Uh, the boat was going pretty well. Uh, the guys did a good job getting around the course, but unfortunately our starts weren't good enough today. You know, we were behind off both starts. And against a top team like this, you can't, you can't afford that. In commentary, you know, we said that you'd been outsailed by Luna Rossa. Two costly errors, costing you really hard. How fair do you think that is? Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Um, you know, we made the, we made the mistakes. Uh, first first start, uh, we just were a little bit too um, punchy going for the hook. And uh, second start, we had a lost control of the boat. So yeah, we were behind off both starts. And like I said, you, you can't really afford to do that at this level. So we're not happy about that. We'll go away and regroup and look at what we can do better. I mean, the great thing was the boat was going well today. I think they're both two very evenly matched teams and there was some great racing. Um, but yeah, we, we, you know, we need to get some wins on the board. It looked in the second race in the pre-start like you were close to being ejected over the side. How violent was that and how close were you? Yeah, it was pretty full on. Uh, yeah, I need to look at exactly what what caused that but uh, yeah we had a big you know big bow up moment big heel and we lost control of the boat so it's yeah it's not much fun um, but the thing that frustrated us most was we we lost the start because of it and you know we just regrouped got back into the race kept it close but you know to take credit you know Luna Rosa sailed really well today they didn't put a foot wrong didn't give us any chances to get past so we uh, we've got we to push hard to get up and, and, and force them into some mistakes. Just lastly, a bit of time now to regroup. You know, how catchable are Luna Rossa? And what do you need to do from here? Yeah, they're totally, absolutely uh, within our reach. I mean, I think the boats are very even and two really good sailing teams. And it's just very subtle differences which are, have made a difference, certainly in the last three races. There's not much in it. Uh, so the good thing is we know that. We know that we can be competitive and we've just got to put it together. Jimmy, how surprised are you to find yourself 4-0 up in the Prada Cup final against a team you could not beat in the opening rounds? I always thought we could win races. I mean, I think the two boats are actually very similar. Two good sailing teams and the team that makes a few mistakes has a chance of winning the races. And so far, I think... We've done a better job there, but we've also made mistakes ourselves, so we need to really sharpen up and keep improving. You talked a punchy build-up to this weekend's action and then delivered on your promise. Why were you so confident? Well, we'd put a lot of work in. I thought the semi-final series, I knew it was going to be good for us and I knew that we needed it. And we've, you know, I think developed a pretty good culture now, especially within our afterguard of been very critical and really going back reviewing hard with Philippe and Jacopo and never really being satisfied you know we, we can always do a little bit more and get better and now I think that's really going through the team now and you know from the short team to grinders whoever it is so it's uh, yeah everyone's just hungry for more a bit of time now to, to rest and regroup what, what's the mindset in the team what message will you be giving them well, the mindset is, is we have to minimise mistakes. We're still making them out there, and some fundamental ones, and we need to be faster. You know, we need to be faster. There's, uh, we've got some time up our sleeves now, both teams do. We need to capitalise on that and uh, spend it wisely. Giles, uh, before the final, there was much talk of the comms on board Ineos. I mean, this weekend, we've seen some errors creeping in. Why do you think that is? Because <laughs> it's boat racing. Um, it's been uh, been tricky racing. There's been two boats racing against one another that are very evenly matched. And um, yeah, I think the key, especially today, was getting you know getting the boat in front off the start line. And then you know they were, we were so evenly matched that reasonably easy for the uh, boat ahead to to defend. And um, we were trying to pull out all the stops to break clear and make something of it, but uh, just wasn't to be. There's a bit of time now, isn't there, to, to reflect and to regroup. What will the focus be on? 
very similar to what we've been focusing on all the way through. Um, you know, these races have been, especially, well, three of the four races have been lost on fractions and very small errors. Um, and the good thing about that is that they are small errors. They can be ironed out. So really that's what we'll do over the next few days. We'll, we'll go away, we'll review, we'll, uh, we'll come up with a plan and we'll come out Wednesday swinging. Francesco, yesterday lots of claims about light wind performance. Today you just outsailed Ben Ainsley and his Ineos team. How big a day is this for Luna Rossa? I think it's a great day. Uh, two more points, but uh, again we have to uh, forget a little bit about the scoreboard and think about the next race. Next race is not on Wednesday. We just learned that and uh, we just have to stay focused on uh, improving the boat uh, and do whatever we can to keep, uh, keep the momentum up. 17 tacks in that first race. I mean, the first time we've really seen a full-on match race. You know, what's it like doing that kind of racing in these kind of boats at this kind of speed? I think uh, it's, it was a big surprise for me as well. Um, I, was, uh, I was surprised with how close we could keep that match. And uh, I was surprised on how, how, how well Ben and the English team did on uh, not giving us any opportunity to stretch, really. Um, the first race was uh, amazing, was fantastic. The second race was a little different because we had a little bit of a shift right and uh, the course was, a, but was still pretty intense that one. So yeah, very exciting, very exciting. 4-0 up in the Prada Cup final. I mean, sailing almost faultless races. You've improved communication, spent time in the shed and on the water. Where do you attribute the improvement? I think for me personally, the time in the water is the most important one. And, uh, and everything else is also as important, but uh, if I have to choose one, is uh, time in the water.